All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Guys, we're living back with Mass Effect Three, and <clears throat> I right, let's continue on here with this Prothean uh, for this quest, which is actually entitled uh, Eden Prime or Priority Eden Prime, which is the ends up uh, realizing now is the DLC quest that you get. So pretty cool. Let's see what Nova. That's just a big blast thing to help. It's actually a pretty good one for my character, obviously. I think because you, you know, go into the, the crowd, a crowd of guys with biotic charge, and then you can Nova to separate them up. So let's uh, let's put let's get that one. This one increases the impact radius by 25 percent. And this one will increase the damage and force by 30% and blah blah. There's a lot of stuff to upgrade in this game. Okay. Liara, you are stuck at one point. James, you're stuck at one point. I probably shouldn't give him everything, but whatever. So yeah, this game, um, I would have been a lot farther. Um, I, could play, I don't really plan on sleeping, maybe, for the next week. And probably just playing this game. And doing you know uh, some things, but mostly I plan on just playing this game for about a week. But um, that bug that I just had that I just talked about really pisses me off. Having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch! This was somebody's home. And to be honest with you, I may be going back through an area because I had to go back a while a bit because I have a tendency to not quick save enough. But now I'm going to quick save a lot because of that bug. I don't want that crap to happen again. So hopefully I'm not going through an area that we've already been through. But we may, I may, because um, I might have took a different route. I basically played the whole area over again and got to that area there, right, and save quick save right before the door, and then kept trying to fix that that bug. So. So there's the other data right there. Cause I'm not sure if we've been in here. Or what? Now there is something I read online about this game people aren't very happy with a point of the game that you need to basically there's a couple different endings to the game and the only way to get the really good ending is to get um your war um god damn I can't think of the word now you know that map full so everybody is you, you get all your allies all the way up basically is a short way of saying it that's not the right term but it's almost, you have to do like everything in the game to get that, or else you kind of get a crappier ending. But there is a multiplayer component to the game, and if you play the multiplayer, you actually get bonuses to that part of the game. So by playing multiplayer, you can actually help yourself get that quicker, a lot of, or get that better ending. A lot of people are pissed off that you have to play multiplayer to get the better ending in the game. So I don't know, I might, be sh I might show off some multiplayer. I take, I'm, I'm not a guy who does a lot of multiplayer. I played for the story, so I can see why people are like, why do I have to play multiplayer in Mass Effect to see the true ending of the single player game? But technically, I don't think you have to, but it just makes it easier. That's why I'm looking around a lot, because you need to find like a lot of crap now to get that ending. I know we got this quest here while we were in here for this resistance movement by picking up stuff. This is kind of what I'm talking about. You need to find this kind of crap and do these quests to get, you know, the Eden Prime Resistance movement higher up, and you know, or else you might not get the good ending. So you got to look around for a lot of shit. So I do tend to take my time in a game like this, and especially I'm probably going to do it a little bit more. All right, let's check this one out. Hopefully, this one doesn't bug on me. Quick save. It is cool to see the Protheans finally. Oh, 
I want those guns. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life bars. Third of our people. Alert! Broadside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. Man, let's hope it doesn't bug out here. You understood that one too? Yes. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Alright, so we gotta head her back to the pod. Let's do it. Oh shit, of course. Fucking Cerberus. Backup forces are here. Those things are the killer right there. Ah oh, shit, grenades. Uh, run, bitch! What the hell is that thing? Oh, we went down. Oh, this thing's definitely got some more range. Can she lift this? No, she, yeah, maybe. maybe. Oh, she doesn't really, no, she can't lift it. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck you! Oh, you son of a bitch. How far back do I go? Yes. Ah, you son Excellent. of a then we have everything we bitch. Need to mother fucking goddamn. Backup forces are here. Fucking servers, bastards. Pyromaniac, hell yeah. Now I'm pissed off. Yeah, run right into it, you stupid shit. And they put it down over there. Burn, bitch. <sighs> what are our guys doing? What the hell are they doing? What are you doing? Why are you hiding over there? I got, maybe I gotta bring these guys out more. I thought they'd be able to take care of it themselves. So I can I think I can make him run like over here. Yeah, yeah why don't you come over here and do something, dude? Thank you. Thank oh shit. Another one. Oh, uh, there I got knocked out. Uh, I don't want to really use first aid if I don't have to. What is that? Thing? Oh, he's laying one. That's how they lay him down. Once I kill him, she should come back. Yeah, there we go. Sorry about that, Liara. Alright, these fucking servers guys are really trying to piss me off. Come on, quick save. Then oh, I fucking screw me again. Maybe there's enemies around and I can't quick save. Oh, well, yeah. Are they on the roof? Oh, shit. Okay, I just went in a big fucking circle. Let's head up here. Uh, 
Okay, so I can go up and back down on the other side here. No shit. Oh shit. Nice. Yeah, I gotta start using my guys more. Can I go from up here? Hell yeah. <laughs> Pitch. Who's getting me? Oh shit. Man, I fucking love that. That move is badass. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've been in here. I'm pretty sure. I feel like I've been everywhere in this uh, Eden Prime here. I went through all the areas. God damn it. Quick, quick save. Again. Man, they don't stop fucking coming, do they? Grenades. See, shockwave sucks. Why can't I use shockwave on any of these guys? They, they don't have armor. Interesting. That's weird. Fucking grenades, I swear to god. Suck it, bitch. You guys take that out. A quick set, yeah, thank you. What'd they do? Oh, they retracted the bridge. Shit. Well, it's gotta be that direction, it looks like. Or it looks like those ladders. Can we fall? Okay, we can fall down. This game feels harder than it did on normal on Mass Effect 2. Or maybe I'm just fucking suck, but either way, it feels harder. I'll have to bring more guys out, or what. Those turrets are a pain in the ass, that's for sure. Okay, let's make our way over to our buddy. So I believe that the DLC gives you a Prothean guy in your party. So this, I'm obviously this has got to be him. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Oh, great. Lots of bogies inbound, Commander. We'll have to hold this position. Uh, anytime you wait, that means uh, there's people coming. Drop ships. Oh, nice. Nice. You know what? I do like this shotgun now that I'm using it. It's just different. It's a little different the way the, uh, the aim works. Oh, I'm just kind of used to it, but I mean, I was popping those guys are pretty far away with a shotgun through that little hole. That's impressive. Sit down, bitch. Oh, fucking goddamn, they don't mess around, do they? Let's see what this carnage does. Oh, that's nice. They are 
all over the place, aren't they? That's what I gotta do more. I gotta use that combo. I Looks keep like forgetting to use it. To catch our breath. Wish my corner man was here. I could use an ice pack. <sighs> Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. Was there more coming? If anybody's low, there's a Cerberus supply cache in the building next door. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Where are they coming from? Oh Happy lord, back. Jesus. Close. Our first big dog of the game. Okay, so that is a shields. Uh, we'll use you. Guess it doesn't really matter. Weakens armor. Weaken armor. Maybe I can freeze him. Feel to take that, maybe we we'll break that glass. Oh, fucking assholes. Oh Jesus, they're right here. I didn't realize there were more guys, I thought it was just the big dog. Oh, that was bad. Oh, they're taking guys out left and right. Fuck his armor up more. God, Liari died now too. Everybody's fucking dying. Yeah, why don't you bring a couple more guys? What's up, buddy? There. You can open the life pod now. Ah, oh, Jesus. May take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Or not. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. 
There are pawns online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari, human, I'm surrounded by primitives. <laughs> it's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. Oh, he's a tough ass, ain't he? A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons. Yes. Which? You found one. You 
saw it all. Our destruction, our warnings. Why won't they heed it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? I prefer Commander. And we did our best with what we knew. Your message wasn't exactly specific. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Well, that's what we need. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. Huh? I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? <sighs> We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Damn. 
Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I think. <laughs> Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Alright, cool. That's well, Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. <laughs> oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved. <laughs> I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Though I still need time to recover, the shock has not worn off yet. I understand. This must be a hell of an experience for you. We're just glad to have you aboard, Javik. Alright, that's a long video, I know, but I want to get through all that stuff because it's kind of cool to actually see Reaper stuff. Um, particle rifle. Okay. Thank you. 
anyway, it's kind of cool to talk to a Reaper, or not a Reaper, a Protean after two games of hints about him. Alright, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll continue on in the next video. So take care, and uh, see you later.